Since 2011, I have a yearly tradition where at the end of every year, I evaluate some of my favorite videos, some of my least favorite videos, I shout people out, and I basically summarize what I think of the year. That's just the way it goes. This is a very interesting year, not necessarily because I went through the whole thing without the end cap stuff, but just because 2011 is 2013 part 3. On a historical basis, the left has been trying to kill something. I don't know. Uh, when I look at Pussy Riot, the way they started as an anonymous group in 2011, they just got out in 2013 from prison, and they really want to get Vladimir Putin out. We got the issue with Syria, and the fact that they have, the rebels have chemical weapons, but everyone wanted us to believe that it was the government themselves using them. And that was somehow supposed to be an incentive to go to war. Okay, that's kind of stupid. There's the Obamacare fiasco. Uh, well, going back to like the chemical weapon thing. Now you have an incentive to watch my thoughts on war crimes and why I think they need to be nitpicked and why I think that a lot of them, the majority of them, are very stupid. Okay, then you got the Obamacare fiasco, and liberals are finally starting to call it the Affordable Health Care Act, as it was originally called, because while Obama did like the slang used by him, the Obamacare diss, it was ultimately something he wants to separate himself from now that it's become so problematic. Moreover, you had that thing in the beginning of March with the Boston Marathon and the bombings that happened there by some kid that looks like me, except he's a little more youthful in the face. I have no idea why. Maybe he got more sleep in his days. Maybe he didn't. Point being, yeah, weird guys. Uh, and then you got the government shutdown. That was totally ridiculous. Still, we're still dealing with this one percent versus ninety-nine percent stuff, and it's obvious that the Brahmins really have nothing left to fight for, so, oh, and the game movement, I can't forget about June, that was when it was its highest, the Malcolm War stuff, and we've had a lot of interesting media distractions to distract us from all of this, I mean, you gotta love the fact that Beyonce has basically been in overhyped to the max, and she released an album in December, so, you got the new Pope and things like that, there's so much to talk about in just that, but I'm going to talk about my YouTube work, since in my opinion, I've outperformed Obama, I've outperformed Putin, I've outperformed any feminists or media distracting horror. This is probably my favorite year in YouTube. Not really, I actually disagree with that. I'm just trying to trigger people. I'm very trigger happy and I know that's not gonna trigger anybody. Some people I have to thank for. I have many died to tank for, shout out to him, shout out to Candlelight Commentary, shout out to Jansen, 
turnip hip wait Jansen Sternips shop. I have no idea. It'd be good if every new word was capitalized, but whatever. Uh, I gotta thank for Sean Whitting lad. I have to thank a lot for Balls of Steel, even though he only commented two times. Uh, Space Probe 7, also known as Van. Matthew Hall. Actually, a lot of the guys that commented on my recent videos, I can't check them on the YouTube inbox since that's totally obsolete when it comes to the comments since Google Plus comments are the only comments I could actually respond to. And moreover, I can't check anything past November. I also have to thank for Avery Dawn. Lots of people. And shout out to all of them for commenting on a lot of my videos. I'm sure I've missed a few, but not every comment is equal. And sometimes I fuck up. You already know me, I'm a fuck up. But, yeah. What were some of my favorite videos? I'm actually going to check that out right now. I'm just going to look at this stuff from, not just the quality of videos, but just stuff that I find as a personal favorite. First, I'm going to look for the most watched video of mine, which would probably mean it's a triple digit video. Since I haven't gotten any quadruple or fintuple digit videos since 07 and 08. And I deleted those videos, just to let you know. Okay, let's see. Obviously, my Mr. Wonka 7 for Dummies and Aspies video, since it's basically my cover video, that has the most views at 242, meaning that a lot of people had checked my channel out. They wanted to see that summary. They wanted to know what to think about me, make an evaluation. Not everyone, but a good amount of people Two guys liked it, uh, I'm one of them, since I know no one's going to watch a video unless it's been rated. Okay, let's see. Fringe Elements comes out as a fascist. That also had a good number of views. At 112... Yeah, that was one of my big return videos, because I made a video prior to that, and after that, I was just back to making videos, not for my movie, where I could save the videos if anything can happen to them, but just direct from webcam again, because I don't have that space anymore. My Washington Heights video obviously had a good number of views. It had 95, saving my hood. But even more so than the Fringe Elements Comes Out the Closet video and the Washington Heights video is the four thesis statements for individuals video where I actually summarize the main thesis of a lot of people in the reactosphere. Some of the videos that I liked the most around this time, going outside of views, that'd probably be a bit difficult. I like the earlier videos this year because I was... Oh, Interdependent Sociopathic Behavior actually got a lot of views, just one like and six comments. That had 125 views, easily beating out the fringe, come out the, comes out the closet video. So, 
good on you, mate. And a response to Canterbury commentary. Well, it didn't get as much as that in 114. That's still kind of good. In terms of a lot of my videos of this year, a lot of the laymen are going to like my Saving My Hood two-part stuff, my reviews, you know, understanding my hood, sedating my hood, forgiving my hood, destroying my hood, which, ignoring my hood. These were all the videos during the Washington Heights reality show that was happening around that time earlier in the year and my reviews of the episodes and whether I felt that it showcased my neighborhood in a positive light. I mean, I was hoping for a bunch of third world dollars and some funny comedy, but what I got was a love story between two unattractive people and just watching two people blatantly say that they're just doing this to be successful. I should be more happy about that, but it's not like they're conceited yuppies that had everything handed to them and they're egotistical and stuff like that, but it just wasn't entertaining. That's the end of that. There's no denying that. Um... That will probably be most people's favorite video. The hentai review was funny. I don't care. That was brilliant in its own way. I mean, I released that around September 25. And... It doesn't get more ridiculous than seeing me review a fucking hentai. And the way I did it, it was almost in an arena kind of fashion. Uh... Yeah, that was both stupid and awesome, in my opinion. A lot of my more racialist-style videos I've recently gotten into, those are my favorites, and I'd say that started around late November or December. So my later videos, of course, are my more... They're my favorite videos, yet my more introspective ones to beating, getting, that's also good in, in its own way. I'm really kind of getting bored with the whole say a bunch of freaky stuff kind of thing, because I've overplayed that, and I should move on to other stuff, which I have done. This is also a year where I've been trying to be relevant. I mean, I've basically spoken not just about wrestling and reality TV shows, but also viral memes at the time, the NBA, all these political distractions in and of themselves, like Miley Cyrus. I've even spoken about stuff like Tupac, Kurt Cobain, Love Rock and Roll, and... Yeah, you can just tell. I was really trying hard to be that, and I think the video is where I was in the sofa playing video games while talking about Lil Wayne's coma incident, or just me in the sofa in general with the dog tags and everything. Yeah, that was kind of ridiculous. My least favorite video would probably be any video from... Any video from November that had nothing to do with me reviewing Triumph of the Will or Nietzsche's Awakening Influence or stuff like that. Oh, if I ruled the East Coast was cool, Scan of Sexual Revolution was cool, that was back when my little bro was missing. Uh, nah, fuck that. Which month had my least favorite videos? I don't know, but anyway, I'm done with this.